In this video, I'm going to demonstrate uh, Monte Carlo simulation in C sharp. We'll be throwing say 10,000 points into this image of uh, a circle in a square. The image starts at x is equal to 50 and y is equal to 50. And the side of the square is 300 units. That makes the center of the image to be on 200 and 200. If our point if a thrown point lands at a distance lesser than 150, which happens to be the radius of this orange circle, will increment inside points. And if this randomly thrown point happens to land in the blue region, that should be greater than <clears throat> the radius of the, the orange circle, which is 150 units, will increment a variable known as outside points. Then finding the ratio of inside points to outside points and multiplying by 4 should give us the value of pi. This is my C sharp form and I'm going to add a button to the form. This button let us change the text to say draw circle and draw circle and square. So as soon as this button is clicked, you should be able to see a circle and a square. Double click on this. It opens up the code space. We are going to call the graphics context. Graphics G is equal to create graphics. Note that all methods in C sharp are capitalized. And once we do this, we are going to draw a rectangle and also draw a circle which is an ellipse with equal axes. Let the rectangle be black in color. So I will say color dot black and the size of the pen. Let us choose three. And then this starts at 50 and 50 and spans 300 by 300 units. Similar for the circle, say new pen, color dot, let me choose blue, thickness of the pen to be 3, and then starts at 50 and is inscribed in a rectangle of 300 by 300 size. Let's run this and see what happens. That's taking ages. So once we have this circle and square in place, we are going to need a random class and we'll be throwing some 7,000 to 10,000 points. All right. So that works. Our next task. So I'm going to drop another button. This time, once the button is clicked, this should generate say 10,000 points. So let me rename and say generate or yeah, okay. Generate 10,000 points. So throw 10,000 points. Throw. And the simulation will be run which will code right now. And there should be a text box which will show the value of pi. So I drag it here.
let's make it multi line and this should show the value of point and the value of pi once this code executes again let's call graphics graphics create graphics let us generate random numbers so I'll use the random class variable R and use the constructor new random we will need random numbers between 50 and 350 which is uh, you know spanning 300 units and let us differently color the the inside points and the outside points so there should be a pen p1 which will be assigned to different colors a for loop will generate our points for int i is equal to 0 i is less than 10,000 yeah. increment i and do what find random numbers between 50 and 350 so I will say integer random x is equal to r dot next n is capitalized between 50 and 350 so in c sharp as well as in java you know the last number is ex ex excluded so this will not generate uh, 351 at the max it will generate 350 similarly int r y or random y is equal to r dot next between 50 and 350 Once these points are generated, we'll have to find the distance of this random point, which is at the coordinates of Rx and Ry from the center of the circle. So our circ our square is 300 units, and hence the center of the circle is at 200 and 200. So I will write center of my circle is at 200 and 200 all right hence the distance let us call this radius is equal to math dot square root of math dot pow means raise rx minus 200 to the power of 2 This is a double digit result and this has to be cast to integer. Yeah, all right. So I think I'm short by a bracket. Yeah. So once this radius is calculated, we need to evaluate if this radius is less than 150 or more than 150. In case the radius is less than equal to 150, 
means inside the circle we will increment a variable known as inside count by 1. I haven't yet declared it so I have to declare that. Not only that, I want my pen to be color colored as uh, say orange. If the point falls in the circle, otherwise let's color it as blue. So I will write the else part now. If the radius is more than 150, I'm going to say the pen color is blue and increment the outside count variable. Once we are done with this, we can write the formula. To draw this point by calling uh, the graphics context so i say g2 dot draw rectangle using my pen p1 it should be positioned at a random location rx and ry and its size should be as small as possible because we'll be throwing 10000 points yes 10000 points having done that the result of all this computation has to be written to the text box 1 text box 1 dot text t capitalized is equal to this has to be a string so let me write pi is equal to and then four times inside count Right, count and divided by total number of points which is 10,000 and this has to be a double so explicitly we cast this let us see if this works otherwise we'll add it Maybe you can have a pizza and come back. All right, draw the circle in square and start throwing, <coughs> start throwing 10,000 random points. And the value of pi is 3.19, not quite but it demonstrates the method. So run it again, it will be a different number. And that is all, thanks a lot.